Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to One Piece, episode 1035. So, yeah, we're currently in the midst of just everything still happening. Uh, Luffy is just not in a great position, having dropped into the water. Uh, Kid is about to face Big Mom. And, yeah, pretty much the same things that have been happening Last episode didn't really progress too much. Um, it just continued the fights and the action and everything. So, I guess we're going to have to see where it goes today. Um, and, and even with episodes like last episode, again, that didn't progress much or do too, too much new, um, they're still good. Like, they're still, like, quality for all things considered. They're just not as new and fresh and interesting as the episodes that, you know, actually progress the story a little more. Um, but we do know that, um, that Momo's true location is known about now. And so Yamato's entire plan to hide him and, or, well, hide him while pretending to have him with him is not working out. So that plan's probably going to be scrapped pretty quickly here. Whew, excuse me. Don't know what that was about, but okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to see more of this, so we're just going to get right into it. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts, and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. You know, in a lot of shows, even after, like, when there's an episode where, you know, obviously things go wrong, bad shit happens, the bad guys take a massive uh, advantage in the fights and everything. In, in, in most shows where this happens, and even plenty of times in One Piece, um, I usually am fine with it because it's like, you know it's going to be okay. The heroes are going to win in the end and everything. And you still know that's the case here, but it's like... Coming out of this episode, I just feel really upset, to put it lightly. Like, more so than just like, it's not, it's, it's not a thing where it's like, oh, I hate this episode or I think it's bad or anything like that. It's nothing like that. It's just, because of what happened in it, it just made me very emotionally and even to a degree physically upset. Um, to the point where I'm like, I, <laughs> I don't feel good right now, physically. Like my head feels like it's swimming my stomach is like it feels like it just it completely dropped and my just focus is going very fuzzy i'm not i'm not even like exaggerating this either like i'm being completely serious here as to how much this has affected me because here's the thing there, while there are some things I know about because 
the One Piece fandom is absolutely shit w about spoilers. Um, there are some things no I know about coming up. I don't fucking know if Kiku survives this. And I'm really fucking scared. Because she's one of my favorite characters in this series. And... And I also just, I don't want the, one of the trans character representations to die Be, for fairly obvious reasons. Like seriously, since, since Wano and everything, Kiku very quickly became one of my favorite characters in this series. Like up there with the likes of Robin and Yamato and so many others like that. Perona. Because how can you not love Perona? <laughs> um, but and, and as I've said in the past, it's not just because she's trans. It's, it's because her character is so fucking likable and so absolutely wonderfully written. She's strong, she's powerful, but she's also emotional. She's caring and empathetic. And that's what makes her defeat here even more heartbreaking and why I was like on the verge of breaking down during this reaction. You you probably noticed I got very quiet after that point in the episode. Like I, I, I got very quiet from that point on and I, I was just, I, I don't know how obvious it was, but I was really upset. And I was on the verge of just completely breaking down into tears. Because. Because like out of. Out of all of these characters. Like she and Yamato are the ones I least want to die. <laughs> I, I hate to say it that way. But it's like out of like any of these new like uh, Wano characters and everything. If, if anyone were going to die. And I, I'm assuming like. Maybe more even will. I mean, we already have Ashura Doji. But Kiku and Yamato are like two of the ones for one for, for this arc that I wouldn't want to. And so seeing the possibility here and just not knowing about that. Because it's like, again, I know a few things about like where the end of Wano goes, and I know cer certain characters who survive and everything, and I know certain aspects, but there's certain ones that I, I just hadn't heard about. Because again, I'm not looking this shit up. I just get spoiled to it because people talk. Because again, the One Piece fandom is absolutely shit about that. But it's like... I just really don't want her to die. Like, she better still be alive and just have, like, passed out from the pain and the emotional toll of it all. But now that Kaido's fucking there, who knows what's gonna even happen with that. So I don't, I don't even fucking know anymore. Like, I don't fucking We got a little bit of focus on Queen versus Chopper, and then all these other fights were just kind of shown. We got, a, like, the tiniest bit of visuals of Jinbei and Who's Who fighting, the tiniest bit of, like, Black Maria taking on Broken Robin. Um, but it's like, let's, let's be honest here. The, we haven't really seen those fights yet. We just see that they are technically happening. But yeah, really the big, the, the only other big highlight of this episode is the fact that everyone now knows that Luffy lost that battle. Even if the other Straw Hats and whatnot aren't entirely ready to believe it. So it's like, 
th this was definitely focused on the final fight with Conjuro. And I do believe Conjuro is dead. Like the way that was the way that was set up, the way that was visualized, that was Conjuro's curtain call. He 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 is done. I I fully believe that. Like his wounds were already, let's be honest, fatal as it was. And I I do believe that uh, Kinemon did finish him off there, and Conjuro clearly understood that too. So. Luckily, we got that at least. Because that way, no matter what, whether Kiku's alive or not, revenge has been gotten. And that absolute cunt is dead. Like, Jesus, like... <laughs> The raid on Odigashima part of this act and everything, I think has easily turned Kanjiro into one of my most hated characters in this series. Like, I... I despise the shit out of him. <laughs> um, which is definitely what they're going for, what Odo went for when he was uh, writing this and everything, but... Jesus, I hate him. Like, oh my god. Like, even just the pulling the Odin stunt the first time. But doing it again? And then possibly killing Kiku as a result? By, by manipulating and playing to her emotions like that? It's like, Jesus fuck. Like I said, though, I, I came out of this not feeling good, like, at all. Emotionally, physically. I, 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 I came out of this episode just really upset and... I, I just... This is one of those episodes I don't think I'd be able to watch again. Because, being completely honest, it just, it legitimately upsets me that much. I'm just, I'm in a terrible mood. I am, I, I need to, I need to get to something else. I need to react to something else. I need to record something else after this because I, I cannot... <laughs> just I cannot just leave off on, with that kind of with these kind of emotions so for now though uh, tell me in the comments below what did you think of this episode I'm Connie I'm signing off see y'all next time